how it feels to uh, go negative goals, how is the team in one uh, yeah, it's tough. I think we, we put in together 18, 18 good overs and then one or two overs just letting us down. Um, I think it's 10 balls we've spoken about it now in 240. That just swings the game so much. Um, so we're trying to be positive. We're trying to stick to the basics. But, um, you know, in T20 cricket, when games are coming thick and fast, it's hard to get out of that momentum. It's same when you're winning really well. You know, it's easy to just roll over and, and keep winning games. And when you're losing, it's hard to get out of that rut. You know, it's going to take a, a, a moment of brilliance in the next while to, to kind of get that at least. We have four days now as a bit of a break, or five days between the next game, so we can go away, clear our heads, get back to a bit of training, and then um, come back and we can hit the ground running again. Can you tell us about that run out by Ah, yeah, Shiv, um, he didn't know where the ball was and he called yes, and then the ball was <laughs> just in the bottom there, so he apologised to me. It, it happens, you know, it's loud out there and, and it's a kind of the heat of the moment thing. Yesterday, 166. These are today 174. Not that bad total, but consequently, your team lost. What's wrong? In your opinion, what's wrong with the team? Um, nothing's wrong with the team. I think I think the conditions are really tough. Bowling, bowling second. Um, I know today they thought that the the wicket might be a bit lower and harder to chase, but the dew's been been a massive factor. So it's been really hard to kind of bowl and, and the ball kind of scoots away on the outfield. So I think we've done really well as a batting unit to get to those totals as you alluded to. Um, they're good totals. Um, I'd say when you're batting in that, that time, it's about par, but when the juice sets in later on, it's about 10 runs short, sadly. Uh, Kartis, uh, last, last day you guys batted uh, fast and today also batted fast. Uh, I'm seeing uh, the toss of the wrong and one end. Uh, uh, want to bat today. Uh, that was the wrong decision. Uh, the wrong decision. I think I, I I think they may have got the the stats wrong. I, I'm I'm not sure. He he was he was keen to bat. I, I think he he chatted to the groundsman or something and thought that the wicket might be be worse after. But I, I, as you've seen, the stats show that batting batting second is a little bit easier. Um, so I'm not sure. It was his decision that he made. Um, he went to his gut. Um, so you can't back. Uh, you can't really um, go down on a captain for going with his gut. <coughs> that is, you uh, came to Bangladesh with Highland on side and uh, you had a pretty good series back then. And now you are here with a BPL side. In between uh, your international career took off, you got four, four wickets in four balls. How will you evaluate this journey back then to till today? Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's been amazing so far. You know, playing three years of international cricket t today is, is really nice. Um, to have these experiences to come to different places and different countries and experience different cultures and the way they play cricket, you know, it's lovely to be in a full stadium here. The crowd is amazing today. Um, so as a professional athlete, that's what you want, you know. You want to come and play in front of loud, noisy crowds that are, are backing the home team. So, um, yeah, it's been great so far. Um, looking forward to coming back in, in a few months um, with, with the, the national side, hopefully. So, yeah, just uh, really enjoyed my time here so far. You are here, uh, Balwandi is here, uh, Sterling, Gitil, they are, they are playing another fantasy league. Do you think uh, this kind of fantasy leagues, uh, this, will, uh, this will help Ireland cricket to grow, uh, grow more? As a team? Definitely, definitely. I think we have, I think we have five or six guys away on, on franchise duty, which is really cool. Um, it means that we can grow, uh, get gain experiences beforehand. You know, as as I said to you before, I've come here now. It's my second time in Bangladesh, and we're coming here again in a month's time. You know, so I can learn, experience, see which uh, which guys are the local talents, see what the conditions are like in a month or two. You know, so I'm not learning at international cricket. I get to come here, experience this. Um, so it's it's great for my game. I get to challenge myself in different areas. Um, and, and meet some lovely people in, on the way too. Uh, uh, Kambar, you, you see Shantodin is from the other end uh, in the field. How, how he's batted and how you, how, how you see him? Yeah, he's a really good batter. He just looks to pick off any bad balls. Um, yeah, he hit the, timed the ball beautifully. Um, the pace of his innings is really good. He took good, strong options early on and, and really just picked apart the bowlers. Um, if you missed anywhere, he, he made sure you paid. Okay, thank you. Thank you.